Hi, I'm Dana. Welcome to Made Every Day. Today we are going to make some circle skirts with an exposed elastic waistband. These work for babies, for girls, you can make one for you. They're great for any body size. First I'll show you a single layer and then we'll make a really fun, bouncy double layer. So let's get started. I like making circle skirts because once I've drawn my circle, they're a pretty quick sew. And they are super fun to wear. They're twirly, they're kind of bouncy, and the reason they're called a circle skirt is because it's made from a circle. My oldest daughter loves to wear these, and so does my youngest daughter. And when she was a baby, I would make little tiny circle skirts, put a onesie underneath, and it was the cutest outfit for church. I also like to make them for me. And the really fun thing is that these elastics give it a great pop of color. So here's what you need. A yard or two of fabric and enough elastic to go around your waist. The hardest part about the skirt is simply drawing the circle for the skirt. But we'll walk through it step by step. And if you're making this for a newborn baby, I do have a free pattern on my website. Go to madeeveryday.com, click on baby circle skirt, and you can download and print it right to your home computer. This is what the pattern looks like that we're gonna make. This is for my daughter Lucy, who's eight, and it's a fourth of a circle. Then we can fold our fabric in fours and cut it on the fold, and when we're done, we'll have a full, complete circle of fabric. And if you're making one for yourself, it will look like an even larger quarter of a circle. So let's make one that's gonna be perfect for your child or for you. Grab a few things to help you draw a circle. I've got a few pieces of paper taped together here. Got a pencil, some rulers, a calculator, and something to keep some notes. Now it's time to do a little math. Don't worry, we kept it really simple. Think of your waist as a circle, and we want to figure out the radius of that circle. Now, we can't very easily measure that, but we can measure the circumference. So here's a little equation for you. Radius equals circumference, or your waist, divided by two pi. Remember pi? 3.14 approximately. So, measure your waist and decide where you want your skirt to hit. Do you want it to actually be up at your true waist or do you want your skirt to hang down a little bit lower? I've measured my daughter's waist and it's 22 inches. I'm gonna write that down. Waist, 22. And then I like to add two inches to that just to give you some wiggle room to get it up over your hips. So plus two equals 24. Now let's do our little equation. Radius equals 24 divided by 2 pi, or 6.28. 24 divided by 6.28 is 3.82. I'm gonna round that to the nearest quarter inch, so three and three quarters inches. Okay, so the first circle I'm gonna draw for my waist is gonna have a radius of three and three quarters. Now let's figure out the length. Now the length is even easier, we can measure that. Decide where you want your skirt to hang to. Start at your waist, measure down to your knee, Make it stop at your mid thigh. For my daughter, I want an extra 13 inches for the length of her skirt. Now what we're gonna do to make it easier to draw is it's really just an extension of this previous radius that we already figured out. So I'm gonna add the radius plus my 13 that I want. I get 16 and 3 quarters inches for my second circle that I'm gonna draw. So let's draw those. Grab your ruler and pencil and if you're making this for an adult, you might want to use a yardstick so that you can get the full length that you need. Now we're going to start in the very corner of our paper. This is the center of our circle. And remember that we're only drawing a quarter of that circle. So our radius was three and three quarters inches. Place a little mark right there. And then place another mark on the other side. Three and three quarters. And then what I'm going to do, you can use a compass for this. I just always have my ruler really handy. So I'm going to do this. Keep my left hand holding onto the ruler, and then just slightly move my ruler and continue making small marks that are three and three quarter inches from that center point. And don't worry if this is not completely accurate, you'll still get a really nice curve. Keep going down. There we go. I have all my little dots, now I'll just draw them together. All right. Pretty easy. There is the circle for our waistband. Now let's do the one for the length. Start at that same center point, measure 16 and 3 quarters for my daughter's size. Now mark it at the other side, 16 and 3 quarter inches. Okay, wow, that barely fits my paper. 
Good thing I can always tape more if I need. Okay, keep measuring down 16 and 3 quarters inches. See, just when you thought you weren't going to need math from school anymore, sewing actually involves a lot of math. Okay, now let's draw those together. Alright, now the last thing I want to do is I want to mark on the side that it's going to be cut on the fold. So I write fold right here, and I'm going to write fold on the other side also. Both sides are cut on the fold. And then I just like to keep notes. I'm going to write down that this is for eight years old. Okay, let's cut it out. Okay, I've cut out my pattern piece. Now let's cut out our fabric. I already have it folded in half, just the way that it came on the bolt at the fabric store. Now I want to fold the whole thing in half again because we're only cutting a fourth of a circle. So. I have a fold up here and I have a fold along here. I want to place those two fold marks on my fold. Now something you want to consider if you're making this for an adult is that you find fabric that's wide enough for the length of your skirt. Most standard cotton is only 44 inches wide, which means you only have 22 inches of length for your skirt. And when I made one for myself, I wanted 26 inches. But I found some really cool chambray fabric that came 60 inches wide, which gave me 30 inches, so I was good. If you can't find what you need, you can always cut two semicircles, sew side seams, and then you have a complete circle. Okay, let's cut. I just like to keep my hand holding the pattern in place and cut right along that edge. Or you could trace your circle first and then cut it out. Do what works for you. Now let's cut out the waistband. Now let's see how accurate our circle making skills were. Let's open up our little donut here. And look at that. Looks pretty good. Now let's talk about our waistband. What we're going to do is take some elastic and sew it right to this opening that we cut out. And let me show you how it looks when you pick it up and pull the waistband straight. Look how beautifully the fabric drapes. It's kind of a little bouncy. Now for your elastic, you can find all sorts of fun colors in the store and online. And depending on who you're making the skirt for, depends on what width you want. When I'm making these for babies, I usually use one inch wide elastic. For my eight year old daughter, I like to use two inch wide. And for myself, I go anywhere between two inch and sometimes even three inches. The thing that's cool is that it ends up kind of looking like you're wearing a belt on your skirt. You can even find metallic elastic, which is what I used on the skirt that I made for myself. And if you just can't find a color that you like, you can even dye your own elastic. And I have a detailed tutorial for this on my website, madeeveryday.com. Click on dyeing elastic. Okay, the amount that you want to cut is just your waist measurement. You don't want it any larger than that because you want it to be snug around your waist. So I've already pre-cut for my daughter 22 inches. Okay, let's move on to the next step. I've got my elastic here, and what I want to do is to create it into a waistband. So fold it in half, and then I'm going to sew right down these edges with a half inch seam allowance. Now I'm also using orange thread because you will actually see the thread when I sew it to the skirt. I've already threaded my bobbin, now I'm just threading the top of the machine. And this is real easy to do, you just follow the little numbers and the guides on your machine. And the thing what I really love about my baby lock is this automatic needle threader. Once I get to that point, I just push a button. Boom, it's already threaded. Okay, I'm ready to sew. Place your elastic on your machine and just sew down. I'm using actually a straight stitch here with a half inch seam allowance. Do a little forward and back stitch at the beginning and end and cut your threads. I also love this automatic thread cutter on my machine. No scissors needed. Okay, now what we wanna do is to open that seam up, just like that, and we're gonna sew a top stitch down this side and then a top stitch down the other side. That'll make it look really nice. Go over to your machine, sew down one side. I'm sewing about, I don't know, a quarter of an inch from that main seam. Flip it over and do the other side. Okay, that looks really nice. Now we're ready to attach it to our skirt. Now before I attach that elastic, I wanna finish off the raw edges of this waistband. 
that will help with wearing and washing over time. So what we're gonna do is just fold this raw edge over to the right side of the fabric and iron it in place about, I don't know, a quarter of an inch. And I know that's gonna feel a little funny. Your natural instinct is to wanna fold it under, but what's gonna happen is that when we take our elastic, we're gonna lay it right over that edge and it will be enclosed all the way around. So just keep ironing. Since we're only folding over about a quarter of an inch, it shouldn't be too difficult. Okay, now let's pin our elastic onto the waistband. I've got my elastic here, and you can see, if I place it in here, it's a little bit smaller than the area we cut out. And that's because we added those extra two inches in the beginning when we figured out our radius. But that's perfectly fine. What it's gonna do is it's gonna gather up the fabric ever so slightly into the elastic. Okay, grab your first pin and pick a spot on the circle and you wanna have this overhang just a little bit so that it covers that part that we ironed under and just pin it in place. Then pull the elastic over to the opposite side, do the same thing, pin it in place, and then you're just gonna cut the difference. Go to the other two sides, like this. Again, you don't need to be completely accurate. We're gonna be pulling and stretching this elastic as we sew. And now we have it in four spots. We're ready to sew it together. You wanna to select a zigzag stitch on your machine because that is a stitch that will stretch with the elastic. And then increase your width to, I don't know, about a 2.5. And then I like to sew with my skirt turned inside out and I like to keep my arm inside like this. It helps guide me through my machine. So place it underneath. Just get it in place and then I'll put my arm back in. Okay. There we go. And I'm just stretching this elastic with my right hand as I'm sewing. My left arm's gonna guide that as I go. Make sure that you're kind of folding that waistband under as you go as well. Okay, I made it to my first pin. I'm gonna take that pin out. And now we're gonna pull to the second pin. If you're making an adult skirt, you may wanna pin it in more places than just four so that you have smaller areas to stretch from pin to pin. For a little girl though, or a baby, four spots is pretty good. Do a little back stitch, and let's see how it looks. Okay, let's turn the whole thing right side out. And pretty cute. Okay, the last thing we need to do is to hem the skirt. I've got my skirt turned inside out, and as I mentioned earlier, it can be a little difficult to fold an iron on a curve. So I'm gonna make my hem pretty small. I'm gonna iron it over a quarter of an inch all the way around, and then I'll fold it over another quarter inch or a half inch, whatever works for you, and iron that in place. So let's do that. This part could take a little while. It's all ironed, now let's sew it in place. I'm using a straight stitch here, and I'm sewing about an eighth of an inch from that folded edge. Do a little back stitch at the beginning. And just like the ironing, this takes a little while. If you have an adult size skirt, it will take an even extra while. As you're going, just continue folding these edges under and it is gonna feel a little awkward because it's on that curve. But you should be able to make it press down smoothly. Okay, I made it back to the beginning. Do a little back stitch and let's check out our new skirt. And there you go. How fun is that skirt? Now let's try it with a double layer. I'm making this for my youngest daughter and I've already traced and cut out my pattern pieces. The bottom layer is the same way that we cut out our circle skirt before. For the top layer, I measured up three inches, drew my line because I want the top layer to be three inches shorter. Then I trace that top piece and cut it out. I've got my fabric pieces cut here and now we wanna start sewing in kind of a backwards order. We're gonna sew the hems of the skirts first. Just as we did before, fold the hem of your skirt over a quarter of an inch and press all the way around. Then fold it over another quarter of an inch and press it all the way around. Sew the hem in place for each layer of the skirt. 
Now before we sew the elastic into the waistband, we actually want to sew those two layers together at the waist. That's going to keep them together and it'll look really nice and it will keep us from having to iron that edge under. First, lay your shorter layer down on your table with the fabric facing up. Then, lay the longer layer on top of that with the fabric also facing up. Now I know that sounds completely wrong, but trust me, it is going to work. Now just pin those two layers together in a few spots. You don't have to pin everywhere. And now we're gonna sew those two together with a quarter inch seam allowance. Just sew around, shifting your fabric slightly as you go. Now watch what happens when I take this longer layer, push it through the middle and pull it out the other side. And look at that, already hemmed and almost ready to sew. Let's just press that down so it lays flat. Okay, we're ready to attach our elastic. I have the elastic here which I've sewn together at the ends and now we wanna pin it to the skirt, similar to how we did before. We don't need to fold anything under. We can just overhang about a quarter of an inch and pin it in place. Pull it across to the other side. Then pin the two sides and sew all the way around with a zigzag stitch. And there you go. You just made a double layer circle skirt. Your daughter is gonna love it. For more ideas and tutorials, visit my website, madeeveryday.com. And for more information on sewing machines, visit babylock.com, where it's all for the love of sewing. I'll see you next time.